Cannon Hayes Recreation Centre evolved through the efforts of Tipperary Town Athletic Club, who were looking for land in the early 1980s on which to provide a running track and facilities for their members. They approached Tipperary Town Council and from that the idea of a fully integrated sports and leisure facility for Tipperary was born. The Cannon Hayes Centre was officially opened in 1987 by the then Minister for Education, Mrs Mary O'Rourke TD, and it's dedicated to the memory of John Cannon Hayes. Cannon Hayes was the founder of the community development organisation Mwinton Atira, and he was in fact a curate in Tipperary Town. He set aside land for use for recreational purposes, and it is on that land that the centre now stands. The Sean Tracy swimming pool is operated by the local authority. It's an adjoining facility, so patrons attending either the pool or the centre uh, can interlink between both facilities and uh, have use of the facilities in both places. The centre caters to uh, families and individuals of all ages and all fitness levels. We have a vast extensive range of both indoor and outdoor facilities including squash, racquetball, table tennis, state-of-the-art gymnasium. This is one of the top highly equipped gyms in the whole of Munster and um, really for a small town we're, we're very lucky to have such equipment in here. We have on one side we have a very high level of cardio equipment on the other side a very high level of strength equipment including free weights, um, squat racks, Olympic barbells, so everything anybody could ever want for exercise from the beginner on the street to the elite athlete could have a fantastic workout in this gym. Your whole body is going to benefit from the workout um, and I find more so nowadays than anything else a lot of people coming here for, to relieve the stress and um, a lot of people who are out of work are using the gym more so than they ever did before um, for to pass the time so it's, it's great for the body, it's great for the mind as well. Uh, we also have a ladies only gym, we call it Lady Fit, um, it's downstairs, completely separate to this gym. Very popular with women who don't like coming into a, a I suppose, a male dominated area like, like the gym up here is. So to, to come in, it's a half hour workout, they're in and out, the two circuits around our gym and they're gone again. The difference between it really is, you have everything that's in this gym, in the ladies only gym. But in the ladies only gym, there's no setting up of machines, everything is set up for you. Instead of increasing the weights by the load, you're increasing the weights by the, the speed and the intensity that you're working at. Um, it's a very, very quick workout, half hour, you're in and you're out. Um, obviously, it's a, it's a lot cheaper also than the gym we have here. A um, lot more efficient for these times, I suppose, we're living in. So it's 150 per session and very good workout for women. The centre is funded through those that come and take part in the various activities here, whether on a pay-as-you-play basis or through membership and many other fundraising initiatives and of course there is also the support of the FOSS Community Employment Scheme uh, which uh, looks after the maintenance and general works around the centre and its grounds. The centre is managed on a day-to-day -day basis by the general manager and the staff and there is a core staff but the overall running of the centre is in the hands of the Board of Management. And I've been involved in the centre in a number of fronts over the years. Um, I, I first was involved here when I was working in St. Aleby School coaching PE and from that I got involved with, uh, with the Board of Management and then I was uh, the chairperson here for, for three or four years and I'm also now involved in coaching the St. Anne's basketball team here for the last number of years. The facilities are absolutely invaluable, I mean, to have a proper basketball court with the lines fully marked out and to have it indoor and have the facilities at your disposal for training is, is invaluable to the school. And I mean, in the current team that I'm coaching at the minute, I mean, they ended up getting to the All-Ireland quarter-finals last year, the quarter-final playoffs, and I've no doubt a huge part of that was down to the fact that they were training in a full-size court and that, you know, they were used to having them facilities all the time. It wasn't any shock to them when they played on the full-size courts around the country, you know, so it's absolutely invaluable to, to the girls. So, I mean, if you, if you come into the sports centre any day of the week or any night, you'll see that you have basketball, you have soccer, you have hockey, even in the schools, we said as hockey teams going, you have the all-weather astroturf pitches, you have the tennis courts, you have squash, you have 
pretty much any type of sport you can imagine is taking place in the centre here and everyone has an equal opportunity and there's access for all. Even over the last couple of years we've built a new disabled access changing facility which does allow access for everyone which is very important in this day and age.